The Lighthouse for the Blind, St. Louis presents the Summer Orientation and Mobility and Adapted Living Resource Program. SOAR St. Louis is a highly intensive structured residential training program that provides specialized instruction to youth ages 15 to 21 who are legally blind. SOAR St. Louis is specifically designed for individuals who intend to live independently, seek competitive employment, and or attend a vocational training program or college. SOAR participant plays original piano piece as video shows a participant crossing a busy street, cooking in an apartment, threading a needle, cutting with utensils. My name is Kevin Hollinger. I'm the director of the SOAR program in St. Louis, Missouri. In 2006, the Lighthouse for the Blind and the St. Louis Society for the Blind got together and they had this creative idea to host a summer program for youth who are blind and visually impaired. The program was to focus on transition skills for the kids, whether it's into employment, going on to college, or just independent living. Each year we see 12 kids arrive at SOAR who both have varying abilities as well as disabling conditions. But by the end of the program, we see a group of young adults with a united sense of accomplishment and of confidence. When you get up here and you're running out of room, you can go at a diagonal. All the participants are legally blind, so their vision is quite reduced and they come here seeking the activities of daily living and the orientation mobility. Many of our students also have other disabling conditions such as a hearing impairment and orthopedic impairment. Um, so we welcome all of the kids who have the potential or the desire to live on their own. Uh, my name is Pam Arbeiter and I'm a teacher of the visually impaired and a certified orientation and mobility specialist. I think SOAR is an amazing program. Um, the things that, that Lighthouse has been able to do with their programs is um, just really change things in, in the state of Missouri for our students. We hire highly trained and highly qualified instructors and college mentors. We partner with universities for graduate interns to come and spend time with us. So we've invested a lot into our staffing and we feel we have something great to offer these kids. The teachers were really awesome um, to be, um, they're really nice and helpful for me to um, be more independent. Um, I'm Amanda. And I live in O'Fallon, Missouri. And my name is Lisa Payne and I'm mom. From young to old, you're not sure what your child's able to do. So you support them in the things they like to do. And so finding this program has really given her a lot of the skills and confidence and independence that she needed to live on her own. You get to be more independent and maybe in the future you can actually live on my own, your own and don't have to live with your parents anymore. So when the participants come to SOAR, there are nine different areas of instruction that they're exposed to. That includes cooking, kitchen management, money management, clothing management, self-care and hygiene, etiquette, home maintenance, careers, as well as orientation and mobility instruction. So our goal is to have the kids rotate through each of those domains throughout the three weeks they're here. They rotate through those domains to get one-on-one -on -one instruction, just them and an instructor, and we progress them at the level they're at. This is not a set program. Everything is individualized. Our students get a lot of exposure to money management. They're expected to manage cash and sometimes gift cards while out on the residential outings, but we also teach them about budgeting. We teach them about tipping. We teach them the simple math and strategies to manage their money. In the cooking and kitchen management domain, you often see the participants learning how to pour, how to stir, how to cut, how to measure. And they do that using our adaptive equipment. We teach them how do they make labels for their food items? How do they, how do they organize their cabinets? And where do they put their pots and pans? How do they tape their knives? We teach them how to apply puffy paint as level indicators. We try to demystify the dangers of an oven or the dangers of knives by showing them the proper techniques that they need to use to maximize their safety. And if that's not working, we're going to try a piece of bread as a pusher. 
Our etiquette domain is especially important. The reason is the participants need to learn the social norms of being out in social settings. How do they cut their food? How do they pass food? How do they assist other people? Which fork are you going to use first? Salad fork. Which is which one? The outside one. Perfect. We are changing people's lives by making SOAR available every year through the Lighthouse's programming. My name is Libby Donnell, and Annie is our 18-year-old uh, daughter, and she attended SOAR last summer. Hi, and my name is John Donnell. One of the, the biggest things that, I, that happens at SOAR is that it's really about independent living. And so after the three-week time frame, Annie came home, and, and she was like, I can do this, I'm going to cut my meat, I'm going to do this and that. You know, they're so very excited what they've learned, and how they've grown and they can, Annie could feel it. You could just look at her and she knew she had really accomplished a lot. And then put that next to the, um, the wheelchair ramp on the south side of it. Travel skills and problem solving are critical when they're moving from point A to B. The skills must generalize to all the environments. It has to go into an individual's neighborhood, at their schools, and into their community. Orientation is, you know, everything from learning how to use a map, um, learning how to, you know, understand address systems and numbering systems in a community, and then mobility is actually physically getting there. So you, maybe you'll use a travel tool, such as a cane or a dog, um, and it's, it's getting from point A to point B safely. We really viewed Annie as being pretty good at mobility. You know, we didn't, we thought, you know, she uses her cane, she does fine, until you saw this and I was like, wow. Soar participant continues to play piano. They have this one section even about dating, you know, and um, friendships and conflict. And she really, would, that would have been a scary thing for her. And I think she learned so much when they talked about that. That's how you get the hands free is because it's called plucking. And so we're going to show you some new ways to do that today. Some of our residential programming also includes self-defense training where we hire a company to come in and teach the kids in hand-to-hand -hand self defense. And we feel that's very important just because it's empowerment, it gives them a sense of confidence and also allows them to know that if they were ever in a situation where they needed to defend themselves, they would have a foundation to start from. We go and visit a retirement home for women who are blind. We've built blankets, the fleece tie blankets, to give to crisis nurseries and different retirement complexes. And we've done a variety of activities just to encourage kids in their civic duties. Participants riding in go-karts. We also have a lot of fun activities, and we do everything we can to get the kids out on the town. That reinforces their orientation and mobility instruction. It reinforces their activities of daily living in terms of their, their hygiene and their grooming and how to manage their clothes. A participant in a batting cage. When the program is completed, the parents get a very comprehensive report. That comprehensive report includes an individualized report from every instructor for their participant. A participant uses a device to help read nutritional information. Package size eight patties. The students that I've seen that have gone through the program have gone on to go to college, to be employed, um, have really become more independent in their communities and in their families. And um, parents um, of former students will tell you that, you know, this, this program has really changed their child. Every staff member at SOAR strives to provide an environment of support and encouragement while we maintain high expectations. We're going to combat feelings and situations of isolation, and every kid is going to learn that there is a future and a hope for them. You know, we are really looking forward to Annie going to college in the fall. Um, we will drop her off just like we did our other kids with the same, oh, we're going to really miss her, and you know, um, but with the assurance that we feel very confident that she has the skills to be able to be on her own. This is the best education anybody could have. The participant finishes his piano piece and smiles. Wow. <laughs> to apply for summer orientation and mobility and adapted living resource program, please visit the Our Programs See the Future tab on the Lighthouse for the Blind St. Louis website, www.lhbindustries.com. Call 314 
423-4333 or email soar.stlous at gmail.com.